What's up, Dubspot? My name is Adam Partridge. Today we will build part two of the trap instrument rack tutorial, which is creating the hi-hats. If you missed the first section of this tutorial, make sure to check out part one. This is gonna be a little bit more intense than the previous steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a drum rack into the instrument rack that we've been building so far. And I'm gonna rename that drum rack hats by hitting Command R. So I wanna rename the chain and I wanna rename the drum rack. I also wanna modify the range of my drum rack within my instrument rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify that range from, I'm gonna click it and move it from A3 to C4. The reason I wanna modify all the ranges of the kicks, snares, and hi-hats is because in an instrument rack, to be able to isolate the individual instruments, this is the best way to do that. If I don't do that, all these sounds would be overlapping and it'd be a mess. So once we modify the range of this drum rack within our instrument rack, we're gonna wanna go to our pad overview and scroll up until we're in the right octave range, which would be right around from C3 to C4. I'm gonna grab a sampler and drop it onto A3. I'm going to rename this sampler by hitting Command R and type in HH1, which is hi-hat 1. I need to then open up the sampler by double-clicking on, on it, and I'm going to also rename that sampler HH1. I'm going to pop open the zones and then go and access the files of the Lex Luger kit. I'm going to go into the Lex hats and I'm going to drag and drop these samples into my zones. And we're going to follow the same steps that we did in the previous parts, part one and two, with the selector. Now, it's a little tricky because we have a drum rack within an instrument rack, so we have our own set of macro controls, which I'm going to have to use. And I'm going to right click on the selector. It's the same steps, but different set of macros within this instrument rack. As you can see, we have a new set, one through eight. So once I right click, on the selector tab and map, you can see I have a new set of macros and I'm going to map the selector for the hi-hats to macro 1. I'm going to rename that macro 1 to hats. I also need to modify the range, so I'm going to click on map mode and it's from 0 to 127. We have five samples in here, so I'm going to change it to five. Now you can see we have the different hi-hats that we can select from. The next step is we're going to want to drop an arpeggiator onto the hi-hats. The arpeggiator is located in the device view. It's a MIDI effect. And what the arpeggiator is normally used for is to arpeggiate chords. Normally a chord is made up of at least, you know, two to three notes. And in this case, if you were to hold that chord, it would play those individual notes of the chord and kind of make a, a melody out of it. In this case, we're using the arpeggiator to just be able to vary the rhythm of the hi-hats. Once I have this all set up, I'm going to go back to my pad overview, my drum rack, and I'm going to duplicate what I just built on this one pad three more times. And I'm going to do that by holding Option, clicking on the hi-hat 1, and dragging it to A-sharp 3, B3, and C4. And now I want to rename each of those hi-hat 2, hi-hat 3, hi-hat 4. So Command R, Command R, and Command R. Now we have the same setup and on each of these pads we have an arpeggiator for hi-hat 1, hi-hat 2, hi-hat 3, hi-hat 4. We're going to need to go into each of those pads and map the rate which is located in the arpeggiator to the following macros, two, three, four, and five. So on hi-hat one, I'm gonna to go to the rate, I'm gonna map it to macro two. I'm gonna to go to hi-hat two, and go to the arpeggiator and map the rate to macro three. I'm gonna to go to hi-hat three, go to the arpeggiator, map the rate to macro four. And finally, I'm gonna to go to hi-hat four and map the rate of this arpeggiator to macro 5. I'm then going to go ahead and rename 
each of those macros from two to five, hi-hat one, hi-hat two, hi-hat three, hi-hat four, go ahead and command R. The next step would be to route these macro controls that are in our drum rack to the last macro controls that we have in our instrument rack. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to right click on each of these macros, hi-hat 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to right click on macro hi-hat 1 and map it to macro 5. Hi-hat 2, map it to macro 6. Hi-hat 3, map it to macro 7. Hi-hat 4, map it to macro 8. So now you can see I have the ability to change the rate of each of those individual hi-hats with the arpeggiator. The last step is I want to go into this drum rack. I want to open up the chain view and I also want to open up my input and output. I'm going to use the choke because we have these arpeggiators affecting the rhythm of these hi-hats so I want to make sure when I play another hi-hat it will cut off the previous hi-hat. We have 16 channels. I'm going to map each of these hi-hats to channel 1. And now we're set to go. In the instrument rack, I'm going to go over here and hit hide. And I'm going to do the same over here with the drum rack. I'm just going to move this device view, uh, input, output. And I'm just going to have the macros right here. So now it's a little bit more clean. Now that we have everything built, let's try it out. With the hi-hats, I'm just going to play A3 and move this. And now you can see I can get those hi hat varying hi hat patterns. Hi hat two, which is A sharp, three. I can move it B three, C four. And if you want to, it's always fun to give it some color. So I'm going to right click on each of these individual macros to kind of give a little bit better visual representation. I, I like to give colors, the same color to the kick, the same color to the snares, and the same color to the hi-hat. So I'm simply right-clicking, selecting a color. And now in the first area of this instrument rack we can modify our kick, our release of the kick, the snares, the snare tuning, the hi-hat pattern, and then in our, over here where our drum rack is located I can change the hi-hats. For more DubSpot tutorials like this, check out DubSpot.com. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online, wherever you are, and at our school in the heart of New York City, For we are ready Dubspot to guide you through the next like phase this, of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.